Robin Erica, it is outreach with urgency tonight, but getting people to leave their tents and sometimes their belongings from areas like this one along the Dan Ryan can often be challenging, but there are many people out tonight trying to do their best. Hey guys, here you go. Richard Vargas knows it's a tough sell, but he, along with other Salvation Army workers, are tirelessly braving the frigid cold, trying to convince those living on the streets to come inside tonight. There you go, guys. Vargas finds many won't budge, so food, gloves, and blankets are offered instead. Hello, Salvation Army. I was wondering if anybody wanted some food or or some some socks. Usually, Salvation Army crews don't do this type of outreach at night, but this weather leaves them no choice. We're going to beg them to come in and get warm. They can come here. They can go to any shelter that they choose. We will pick them up and deliver them wherever they want to be just to be safe and off the street. Major Nancy Powers says the Salvation Army Freedom Center gym can handle 100 people if needed. 63-year-old Derek Phipps Homeless since September, didn't hesitate. I needed this, you know, to keep warm, to keep being afraid of dying in the cold, because it can happen very easily. Uh, one second. Doctors say it's a very real risk. Frostbite symptoms can set in in 10 minutes. Hypothermia, too. Let's be conservative and overly cautious. How quickly could somebody freeze to death? Uh, if they were wearing inappropriate clothing, uh, for example, if you're outside in a light jacket, you could probably freeze to death in less than an hour. All right, be careful tonight, okay? All righty. Salvation Army workers like Richard Vargas and other volunteers say they plan to be out here on the streets until 1 in the morning, hoping to help as many people as they can. Along the Dan Ryan, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.